Hello. If you've been following Stu, you will know that he's been walking from Paddington, was the destination of Penzance. Yep. By every station. I, I couldn't do that. I just, no. Why are you doing it? I'm doing it to raise as much money as possible for Samaritans. Throughout this video, I'm going to be dropping the links to donate. I'm joining Stu for his final day from here at Hale down to Penzance, where you're going to finish. Finish the walk. Nice, gentle eight mile stroll today. I'm unfit. This is going to hurt me. But you've done 300 and... 372 miles or something so far. <laughs> Come along with us as Stu finishes his day. We're on the move. Yes, we are. In glamorous hail. Yay, glamorous, glamorous hail. The weather is perfect for this today. It absolutely is. We've done the first mile of the day. Yay. It only took us 22 minutes. Hard to believe I've done 370 miles, isn't it? <laughs> Starting to get an appreciation now already for why there's a lot of extra distance between the stations. Yes. Like we're just having to detour down this road to avoid hail roundabout, which kind of looks like we'd almost definitely die. But Google Maps wants me to walk it. Yeah. <laughs> Then Earth. It's like Earth without the A. What we didn't mention in the intro was you've done this walk via every station along the way. Yes. Can you list them all? Inland Broadway. No, that's wrong straightaway. I can't. <laughs> it's been a I long. I really can't. It's been a long few weeks, I bet. How do you feel only having one station left now? Excited, nervous, happy. So now this is the main A30, which itself has come from London. Yeah. I mean, it makes it all the way to Land's End, doesn't you? <laughs> Ooh, that is, that is low. We're going to now be leaving that until Penzance. We're cutting down to Marazine through the back lane, so it'll be a bit quieter and nicer. Definitely. I've seen so much more of the country and views that I just, you'd never see from train or most people from road. Like they just take the A30 or the A38 or the A303 or I, I look at it and go, oh, it's a main road, that, right. Where's the country lanes? What's the route round it? Yeah. And that's why it's going to be near 400 miles when I finish and not the 350 miles that Google <laughs> predicted. What you can take from this is after you've donated, go out for a walk somewhere you wouldn't normally. Yes. Look at a map, find a road you've never walked down before and walk down it. I'm doing surprisingly well. I, I didn't have much faith in me doing well on this walk, I'm not going to lie. I had every confidence in you. We're on what I think might be your final uphill stretch of the trip. And it's not really that uphill <laughs> It's not really, to... it's easy. Your Just Giving page is coming up to 7K now. Just short of, yeah. It's jumped up 500 quid since we started. We're kind of hoping that before we get to Penzance, it's going to hit the target of seven and a half K. That does not mean you guys shouldn't donate. No, keep going, keep going. Wouldn't it be great, right, if it was to hit 10 K? That would be like world, a little secret for Jen's YouTube subscribers and for people that watch her videos. And if you don't subscribe, you really should. But it was nearly going to be a 10,000 pound target, but I lacked confidence. So I, if you could and prove me wrong, that'd be brilliant. You deserve at least 10K. That does give me an opportunity to say a special thank you to everyone that's pitched into my GoFundMe because without the money people have put in the GoFundMe to cover costs, it would probably, this walk might not have even been able to happen. So to everyone that has tipped in to the GoFundMe, a real thank you. So my C! Perfect moment. The sea! I believe, don't quote me on this, that might be... Penzance. Penzance Bay. Most days you've had somebody with you, haven't you? I have, yeah. Guests have been very vital to this walk. And it was always planned from the start, I was going to be inviting people to join me. The support, motivation, and overall just the chatter means the miles are just, they don't feel like miles, they feel like centimetres, really. Time flies when you're having fun and all that. So, special thanks to Jack. Omar, Dave, Nick, Paul and Rebecca Whitewick, 
Bessie, my mate from Somerset, Jen, not this Jen, a different Jen. Robert, who I killed laying on a platform. Coastway Will, some random YouTuber called Jeff. My mate Jan, Rob, everyone might know as Tall Controller. Legendary sign enthusiast, Bryn. And then today, we've got the Dregs and we've got Jen. We're not far from Marazine now. We're going to be able to see St Michael's Mount soon. We're all going on a summer holiday. Penzance! Penzance! And I'm actually following it! Okay, when I said there was one more hill. You said no more hills. It looked like there were no more hills. We're practically on the coast now and we're going up. How does this work? It's going to be a big drop at the other side, I reckon. <laughs> Nearing the top. I'm out of breath. You've had quite a few of those. Many, many hills. It's going to be one hell of a view, though. I'm hoping over so. Over here. BBC. Why did you choose to visit every railway station? I have a station, my social media channels every last station. Two years ago, I finished a challenge where I visited every train station in Great Britain. But during that, that all that travelling, I experienced all the work the Samaritans do and how important their work is. And it's been lovely to speak to you, Stuart. It's a great cause yeah, that you're doing it for as well. You've just checked 95% ways now. Yep. Just another 300 odd quid to go and you've hit your target. Three miles to go, just over an hour. We can I do this. can literally see Penzance. What a moment that was. I'm really proud of you for doing this. Thank you. I'm kind of shocked I've made it here myself to a degree. That said Michael's mouth. That means yeah. I'm nearly at Plymouth, uh, Penzance. Two and a half miles to go. Straight down the coast at this point. This bit is the reason why I wanted to join you for the last day, because this is the bit I have personal connection to. So it's going to be a nice I'm, walk. I'm going to enjoy this. It's going to be a nice walk. Right, let's go to Penzance. Let's do this. I, I, can, I, can, I can see the station. I can see Penzance station. When was the last time on a trip you were properly by the sea? Properly, not, not an estuary or anything, it's Timmouth. So you just love the sea. See, there's something special about the sea, isn't there? This is the perfect ending for doing something like this. What memories are you going to take away from this? The countryside I've walked through, surprising countryside, Maidenhead to Twyford. I didn't think there was countryside there. <laughs> Turns out there's a lot of it. Spending days with friends. We're in a world now where getting time with a friend is having a coffee over lunch, and that's it. You know, you're back at work an hour later. So I've, I've been lucky on this walk that I've had days where I've had eight, nine, sometimes 10 hours with people to just chat and yeah, I mean, that's priceless. It's been nice just walking with you and chatting. 7,500 pound raised, 100%. You've done it, a mile and a half. Thank you, everyone. So pleased for you. Thank you. A mile and a half out of Penzance, you've hit 100%. Congratulations. Thank you. Hug. Seven and a half thousand though doesn't have to be the limit, remember. I would love this to hit 10. Please still carry on donating. I'm leaving a link here. Please. Let's do that last stretch to Pendance. Half a mile. So that's about the distance from the front doors of Piccadilly to platforms 13 and 14 at Piccadilly. Yeah, not even an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> so close. How are you feeling? Don't know. Is the, is the... <laughs> are we going to find out in a minute? I, I, I suspect at some point in the next half hour there's going to be tears.
Thank you. There's been several pain barriers that I've crossed, uh, but the last two days have actually been quite, because I think the end just in sight, so. Hardest bit was probably um, last Sunday, walking Dawlish Seawall. It was thunder, lightning. Oh, yeah, it, it wasn't great. Back in 2018, as a centre oh, no. to James Park in Exeter, and I, I spoke to a guy, I got on a train, went off, and then I found out about 20 minutes that half an hour later, he stepped in front of the train. And because of that, I kind of realised how it's there, the worst Samaritans do, because they supported me a bit afterwards, because obviously I was doing that. Could I have done anything? Should I have spotted anything? You have walked from very far that way, Haddington, very, very, very far. to here. Well done. Yeah. Like, seriously, well done. Thank you. It's been, a, 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 like I said, at some point in the past few hours, I couldn't have done that. You can still donate the links everywhere. Let's get that to 10K. You're not going to walk to Land's End now. No. We're going to get to Land's End and like finish up there. Yeah. Just to put a dot that I and cross that T. So, Hens Ants. Done it. Now Land's End. Yeah. We, we, didn't walk, we didn't walk here. Sod that. So what's your takeaway? Don't meet the chips. <laughs> oh, good idea. Yeah. We've got some great scenery in Great Britain and lots of hidden gems of places that you can only find if you get out and about and actually visit these places. So I strongly urge people to visit new places. You can all thank me later. Go out, explore, do all of the things. It's amazing what you've done. And I don't think it will hit you properly what you've done and for a little while yet. No, I don't think it will. I just want to add as well, I've done it in flimsy Adidas trainers. This have now got no sole in the bottom of them. And today specifically, I've got Christmas socks on. Thank you everyone that's helped out from accommodation to donations to just people retweeting, liking, commenting and just being genuinely awesome with support. None of this would have been possible without any of that. So thank you very much. I did my bit, but you did your bit. Carry on donating. Let's get this to 10K. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm sure you might find Stu in another video from Cornwall soon. No. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.